welcome to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Mira. And I'm Zach. Today we have stories about apples, a boat, and more. In local news, Apple Harvest Fest happened last weekend. The festival extended past the commons onto State Street this year, stemming from the growth in both vendors and visitors. Pursuers of Apple Fest enjoyed apple cider donuts, caramel apples, apple pie, apple cider, and other apple and fall based items, as well as live music and food trucks. Visitors and organizers alike said they had a great time and hope for even more attendance next year. In other news, the Ithaca Fire Department's Deputy Chief Mike Moody announced that he plans to replace the department's current rescue boat, saying that the new watercraft will be a substantial improvement over the current one. The IFD has already received funding from both a state grant and the city of Ithaca, with Mayor Robert Cantelmo claiming that this change will help make Cayuga Lake a safer place for everyone. Cornell graduate student Mamodou Tal was suspended recently due to his participation in a pro-Palestinian demonstration on campus on September 18th, and he's facing a possible deportation back to the United Kingdom. Tal, with more than 100 others, forced their way into the Statler Hotel in order to disrupt a career fair and protest of companies like Boeing and Lockheed Martin. These companies, and many others at the career fair, are currently supplying Israel in their war in the Gaza Strip. Vice President for University Relations Joel Molina said that Cornell has no powers of deportation, only those of disciplinary actions such as suspensions. However, the student visa that Tall has requires that he be a full-time student, so his suspension will force him to return to the United Kingdom. As of September 27th, Tall has submitted one of two possible appeals for his suspension, both of which were rejected. Thank you for watching Lake Street News. And have a good week. <sighs> that was What do we banter about? I don't know. I think we talk about um how boring Apple Fest was.